Well, Steve, I think this is probably the most extreme and viral moment of media manufacturing of claims of racism that I've seen in the 25 plus years that I've been documenting these kinds of hoaxes, which are stoked by liberal journalists with an agenda. What is that agenda? You know, it's far greater than just hating Trump or uh, trying to turn a red hat into some sort of symbol of patriarchal white supremacist oppression. It's much bigger than that because so many people in the media jumped on this uh, in order to exploit this incident to forward their own confirmation bias. It's not just about liberal bias. It is about looking for fake evidence uh, to amass some sort of case that uh, the half of, of, of America that doesn't agree with the liberal media on, on ideology is somehow a threat right. uh, undermining our democracy. And it makes me so sad to hear uh, the accounts of these kids and their families who are under siege by so many people, especially those blue verified checkmarked people on Twitter who continue to spew hatred uh, and uh, so many vile threats without any kinds of, of consequences. But as I said, I've, I've documented this is just the latest example, and I really do consider the Covington Catholic hoax to be a cultural Rorschach test. What do you see? If you see in mm. the faces of these young boys some sort of, uh, 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 of, of threat of violence, when we see real violence by Antifa and the left over the last several years, assassination threats against our president and ordinary people, not just, not just Republicans, not just uh, conservative pundits, but ordinary people uh, who have, have withstood so much violence and hatred simply for possessing views that are different than the liberal orthodoxy, if that's what you see in the faces of, the, right. of these young kids, when you know what happened, when you actually know what happened, thanks to so many grassroots citizen journalists, then you've got a problem. So We've Michelle, got a problem here. And it is a cultural pathology. So I would, Political correctness is a pathological condition. Also, the jump at the conclusion things can't be overstated. Here on Friday, by the time they blew, the special counsel blew up the BuzzFeed story on Friday, I thought to myself, man, we really learned a lesson. <laughs> Not we, meaning me. We weren't on the air at the time. There's really a lesson here that people are going to be very slow to jump on any bandwagon unless they know all the facts. Man, was I wrong. I found out hours yeah. later I was wrong because then this happened and all the tweets went flying out and all the, uh, all the shows ended up being dominated by the wrong story. Yeah, it was like a BuzzFeed hold my beer moment <laughs> because then something came along that was even far worse. I wish I had your optimism, Brian, that people will have learned a lesson. But the problem is that when you look at the cost benefit calculation right. of manufacturing these kinds of hoaxes, uh, there is just so much of a strong incentive to keep lying because nobody ever gets punished. Yeah, and the diocese That's why it's is so important that we have grassroots, independent journalists and citizens out there holding holding these so-called professionals in the liberal media accountable. You know, God I was thinking them. yesterday, Michelle, what if the video hadn't surfaced? What if we had just seen that snippet and never saw the full video? Things would be completely different. Or maybe they wouldn't. You know, the diocese is still getting packages and people are still, um, what is it called, doxing these mm -hmm. kids? Yes, yes, that's right. What if? And again, that's why we have to, to thank the people out there who put their necks on the line to show the whole truth, to, to spend the two hours watching the full video context of it. So there were grassroots people on social media, blogs that have been mocked over the last 15 years because they're not credentialed journalists. And uh, definitely a shout out to people mm -hmm. at Gateway Pundit, people like that, um, who were on this very early. And why is that? It's because because they do not hold contempt for young Southern boys who are wearing MAGA hats. And it really is a time to have self-reflection among the news media about their own contempt for half of America sure. and what it's cost them. All right. Uh, Michelle Malkin, always a pleasure to get your point Thanks, of view. Michelle. Thank you very much. You bet.